Hello everyone. As a part of ClickView server uh, we're, um, series, in this series we're going to talk about the services. Uh, so um, uh, ClickView has six services uh, which are responsible for running the ClickView server in the background. Um, they can, there can be some addition or subtractions based on how you have uh, set up your environment, but I'm just going to talk about the crucial services. Um, dispatcher service is responsible for integration between um, uh, interaction between these services and also the license uh, with the ClickView server. The main, the key service, uh, responsible service is ClickView server, which essentially take care of uh, all the engine and uh, ClickView document that you see. It is responsible for running those one. And the web server uh, service is running. You know, for example, if you are having the issue with the access point, so most likely this is the service to be looked in. If you know you can access this. Uh, click view documents otherwise but you can't access on in here so then that's that is the, resp the service that's responsible and then this is the management service which is basically when you open the qmc this is the service running a background which manage your all um, uh, services and uh, you see there is some description in here as well um, and so you can just you know have a briefly uh, look how things are uh, you know what these services do Okay, so uh, in order to restart these services, uh, there is no particular order um, uh, available, uh, but uh, the, just only to uh, make sure that uh, the services are in harmony. Though two things, you need two services that are interdependent are uh, ClickView server and Dispatcher service. So click for the ClickView server to be running, Dispatcher service should be running. So for example, if I restart this service. It will ask me, you know, uh, if you want to restart the ClickView service. So it's going to stop ClickView server, uh, stop dispatcher, restart dispatcher, and then start ClickView server. Other services are independent. They can be restarted in any fashion. Uh, and uh, uh, that's it. And another thing to be considered is that, you know, you should, uh, when you are using a user that uh, in the logon here, uh, this user should be part of your uh, uh, work uh, group uh, called admin group this uh, click you administrator so when you install click server there is all, all automatically a group is uh, made in on your user uh, group site click is called group administrator and you should make sure that this user do, that you are using here to run these services should be the part of this particular group otherwise your service is going to fail so these are the permission this user has certain permissions um uh, that's going to allow this services to be running uh, as per requirement so that's it for today stay tuned for the next videos uh, do subscribe if you are interested in more click updates